Hey guys, it's Kaylin. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a get ready with me. I'm going out tonight, so I want something a little bit simple and just a little glowy. But since I'll be out most of the night, I need to go in with my primer. I'm taking in this Revlon Color Correcting Primer. And I'm applying some lip balm like I always do. Um, to hydrate my under eyes, I'm using this e.l.f. Hydrating Under Eye Primer. It's also a primer, but it's easier to apply the concealer and make sure the concealer stays on for quite a while. So I really like this product. I'm going to zoom on up. I'm taking my foundation. This is my CoverGirl Ultra Smooth Foundation in 860. It's currently the only foundation that matches my skin tone. And it's a little like, it's light coverage, which is fine because I don't have a lot of breakouts. So I'm not trying to go on the hunt for a full coverage foundation or anything. So this is working perfectly for me right now. I'm blending this all in with my Beauty Blender from Real Techniques. Now to highlight my face, I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Creamy Beige. I'm going to pop this on my under eyes, a little bit on the bridge of my nose, and then in between my foreheads. I started putting concealer on my, like, the little lines or whatever above my mouth and underneath my nose. I don't know what they're called, but it just helps, like, kind of picks up my top lip a little bit. So I really like the look of that, and I've started doing that a lot more, so... Yeah, I just snapped. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but yeah. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that all out with my Beauty Blender. And to set that all in, I'm taking the Anastasia Contour Powder in Banana. This is just going to help keep the highlighted effect and just set it in so it doesn't crease underneath my eyes or wipe away for whatever reason. So yeah. And to set the rest of my face, I'm taking the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder. I like this because it doesn't give any extra uh, coverage or doesn't make it look powdery. It just helps set my foundation and kind of helps tone the rest of my face. Like mainly on my forehead, I see that it helps out. I did apply some wing liner. It was I got it off camera because I was too close to the mirror, so sorry about that. But I used the um, LA Color Liquid Liner. And then I went in with a little rim liner or on my lower lash line and the NYX Wonder Pencil in light. And then I'm applying some mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I totally forgot what it was called. I like it because it makes my, my lashes look so long. And I'm obsessed. And then I just pop on a little bit on my lower lash. On my lower lashes. I was going to say lower lash line, but... Nothing super crazy, super dramatic, just simple. Then I'm going in with bronzer. I'm taking the NYC Smooth Skin. Cannot speak today. Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder in the color Sunny. I love this bronzer for just an everyday drugstore bronzer. And to further contour, I went back into an oldie but a gold goodie. It's my e.l.f. Contour and Blush. I took the contour shade. It's nice and dark, so it helps really carve out my cheekbones. I don't like it for an everyday use because it does have some shimmer in it, but it's good for, like, going out and you want to look glowy. So, yeah. Going in with my Almay Blush in Coral. This it's not doesn't have, like, a lot of color. It just gives me, like, that nice flush tone, so I like that. Then for my highlight, I'm taking the Anastasia Powder in Sand, I think it's called. Popping this on my cheekbones and then on the tip of my nose like I always do. Look at it. Look at it. And then for lipstick, I'm taking my Rimmel London Cake Collection lipstick in the number 08. It's like my lips, but better. So I love this lipstick. It's nice, simple, and it's pretty. Now I'm going to go in and after I get done doing all this weird stuff, I'm going to go in and do my hair. I've been liking this half up, half down look where my hair is just mainly, I have mainly like curly, wavyish type of hair. So I like to embrace that type during the summertime. So I'm just going in with like this curling mousse from Garnier Fruchis. And I'm just like putting this throughout my hair just so it helps my curls stay last longer and don't like 
for whatever reason get wavy or not wavy but like ratchet looking you know me you feel me you feel me then I'm just going to start doing my half up sometimes I do a bun sometimes I'll do like a little pony I did a little pony in this look because I wanted my hair to look a little bit more fuller so I did a pony in the center of my head and pulled it out some and then just went back in and just like scrunched up my hair a little bit with my hands and that's the completed look now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to try to find an outfit in my closet which was really hard <laughs> because you know us girls So I just changed out of this normal um, sleep shirt and these shorts and then I changed into something a little bit more casual, summery, but like me. I went in with this black top for Forever 21. I really love the pattern and how it flares out at the end and these, I wanted to bring some color in it. So I went in with these yellow shorts from uh, Arrow Pastel, I think, and then this necklace from Forever 21 also. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or just want to say hey. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.